Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning or maybe good evening to you depending on the day that you want uh, to use this video so we will continue uh, with our uh, lecture uh, which is about one hour uh, this is the replacement class uh, for the Nuzul Quran eh? uh, which is uh, occurred today 28th of March 2024 so yesterday uh, we have already uh, studied about this part eh, which is the single reinforced rectangle sections where we have already uh, understood how we can get our uh, force in compression in concrete and if you remember we have derived this yesterday okay and that force will be situated at the central of the stress block of the rectangular stress block okay with a distance of 0.4x eh? uh, because the total depth is 0.8x eh? and remember that x is the neutral axis depth eh? of the rectangle section which is uh, measured from the top of the concrete to the to this line eh? and this is your neutral axis depth eh? x and we have also yesterday uh, understand about how to get the force in steel which is in tension eh? FST uh, to be 0.87 FYKAS where FYK here is the characteristic strength of steel uh, which is always taken to be 500 Newton per meter square and ES uh, is the area of tensile steel and because of this uh, section is designed as a single repose so you just only put uh, only tensor, tension reinforcement at the bottom and uh, the two forces of the compression and also tension uh, will be separated by a distance here called as lever arm exact and that lever arm is equal to d minus 0.4x eh? okay and after we consider the equilibrium of the forces remember that any forces in tension uh, which is in steel must be equal to the forces in compression in the concrete okay so that's why you get this equation okay? you get this equation and after you substitute the corresponding equation for FST and FCC at the end of the day you will get the expression to find the neutral axis step of the single reinforced section okay and I think uh, we have uh, understand this one uh, this is the derivation how to get your force in compression in concrete yeah? FCC hopefully you still remember the same thing also for obtaining uh, the force uh, in steel uh, which is in the tensile mode okay, which is given by this and yesterday also I have uh, talked about how to derive the moment of resistance formula okay. you have to find the moment of resistance formula by taking either uh, at two approaches yeah. Yesterday we have uh, find the the moment of resistance. If let's say we take from the center of the steel, okay, this one is from center of the tensile steel. Okay, or tensile reinforcement, then you can arrive with this formula. And if let's say uh, you do another approach by taking the moment about the centroid of the stress uh, of the rectangular stress block, then you may arrive also with this another formula given by this. And remember that this M here we call it as a moment of resistance. So this. Uh, moment of resistance is very common question in your test and also final exam eh? so please uh, be remembered on how to develop this starting from this diagram okay with the corresponding labels and the corresponding equations and after that proceed with the uh, the approach either by taking the center of reinforcement where you get this equation or by taking the moment at the central of the rectangle size block and you get this equation eh? and uh, remember that uh, we have uh, review about the uh, kind of failures of RC 
if you still remember yesterday, we have studied about the under-reinforce, the over-reinforce failure and the balance failure. So in order to make sure that your design is to be safe, all of your design must have uh, design under under the category of under reinforce eh? meaning that there is no brittle failure of the concrete but the failure is governed first by the ductility of the steel uh, meaning that the steel will be yielded first and after that will be uh, proceeded by the uh, brittle failure of the concrete so in order to achieve that euro code has already specified that our neutral axis depth which is x cannot be more than 0.45 d okay so why this this uh, limit is given because we want to ensure that our design will be a safe design okay which is under the under reinforced failure category okay so meaning that x must be less or equal to 0.45 d eh? And what is D? D is the effective depth. Eh? Effective depth. So, uh, what is the effective depth? If we go back to the diagram uh, for the stress block, eh? if we refer back to that diagram, so effective depth is given by this. Eh? Okay, the distance from the top of the concrete to the center line of your tensile steel. Right? That is the effective depth definition. Right? Okay. So if I continue, uh, and if you play around with the equations, you can have this another expression for moment of resistance, which is equal to 0.167 FCKBD squared. And usually this 0 0.167 is usually denoted by K balance, eh? K bars. Eh? K bars is a is a factor that you call as K balance. Eh? And this uh, kind of formula can be found in your Euro code. So if you want to have your Euro code, I have already uh, specified in your U future folder. Okay, uh, you can download it. So maybe I want to show it to you uh, where what is the Euro code uh, document it will be something like this. Eh? Eh? This is your Euro code. You can download. This is the first page of it. And if you, uh, I want to show the component of it. Okay, this is the first page. Eh? This is the PDF file. Eh? And you can go to the section number three. Eh? This is the content under subtopic three. Uh, because our topic now is to design based on rectangular sections so we can go to the page number 8 eh? so go to the page number 8 where you can see that uh, the formula to design for singly reinforced here eh? and you may see that uh, the K balance here is specified to be 0.167 where the formula for K is equal to moment M divided by B D squared F C K. So in actual it is the same like this. Lah. It is similar like this. Okay. Uh, K, if you play around with the formula, K is equal to moment divided by F C K B D squared. Eh? So it is the same thing. Lah. So you don't have to memorize, but you can use this page number 8 eh, of the Euro code 2 in order to find what is your formula for designing singly reinforced where m here is called as the moment of resistance eh? Eh? mu eh? m here meaning that ultimate moment eh? or moment of resistance so uh, there is a note here uh, stating that okay this is the formula that you can uh, have in the euro code itself eh? k is equal to moment divided by bd squared fck and if that k value, if you compute, is less or equal to k balance, uh, meaning that 0 0.167, then your design is a singly reinforced design. Okay. Otherwise, otherwise meaning that when the k value here is greater than 0 0.167, then your design is 
called as the doubly repost. Why? Because you need to uh, allocate the tensile reinforcement plus also the compare reinforcement in your rectangular sections. So this is the criteria on how to differentiate or how to classify whether your design requires singly reinforced or doubly reinforced. Okay, so please take note about this one because we will use this until nine weeks, this guideline, in order to know that your design is uh, singly or doubly. So if you refer to your code yeah, uh, under clause 3.1, this is page number eight, eh? page number eight, uh, the first formula here, which is until here, okay, until here, where I put my cursor here, is for singly reinforced. Eh? Why? Because your K is less point than K balance, K balance is 0.167. But if let's say your K is more than K balance, then you have another formula to design for uh, W. Okay? For the time being, we just consider about the single reinforce, which is the formula is starting from here until here. Eh? Okay. So continue back. Okay, this is the uh, stress block diagram by using simplified rectangular stress block. Okay? You can see that the blue color here is the simplified st uh, rectangular stress block where I have already labeled the corresponding values. And you may see that again. I just want to have a review on it. 0 0.85 FCK over gamma M. If you make it much more uh, simplified, because uh, gamma m for concrete is 1.5, so this one will be 0 0.567, uh, 0 0.567 FCK. Eh? So this 0.567 FCK is the maximum design compression strength of concrete in compression. Okay? And uh, FST here, uh, the label is not complete, should be the value to be FYK over gamma s okay multiplied by es and you know that gamma s for steel is 1.15 so if you uh, simplify it this will be 0.87 fyks so you can ingat so more than eh and also the labeling of your width or the section remember the labeling of the neutral edges depth the effective depth okay and so on so you must remember this especially when you want to answer about the moment of resistance okay okay uh, you may see that on the, the on your uh, screen the area which is under compression eh? so this is the area which is under compression in concrete eh? where the height of this is only 0.8x okay and the width of that is b so the area is 0 0.8 bx eh, in compression and the area which is only under tension is only as and eh, as is what as is the tensile area of reinforcement which is in the unit of millimeter squared eh. okay and that as is greatly depending on the number of bars and also the diameter of the bars used uh, to represent the tensile reinforcement okay Uh, this is again uh, the definition of the lever arm. Remember, lever arm is the distance between the compression force in concrete to the tension force in your steel, and that is given by Z is equal to D e, uh, minus 0 0.8 divided by 2, or you can put it much more uh, compact to be zero, uh, D minus 0.4x. And by arranging the, the formula for M, remember, we have M there, uh, which is this one. Eh? Where is your M? Okay, this is your M. Uh, sorry, this is this is your M. Okay, and your K. Okay, by arranging that and you play around with the formula, and at the end of the day, you will get an expression of the lever arm given by that formula. So you tak perlu memorize this because in our Euro Code Two page 8 if we refer back 
in our pitch it your z is already given here so tak perlu nak ingat lah cuma you kena faham saja eh z is equal to d multiplied by 0 0.5 plus square root of 0.25 minus k over 1.134 so the same formula that you have here so tak perlu nak ingat sangat pun eh just only understand how uh, the formula is uh, obtained and how to uh, merujuk you look to eh and uh, area of tension reinforcement because in uh, single reinforce you need to know area of tension reinforcement which is your as uh, you can substitute your z here or you can play around with the formula and at the end of the day the formula for as is a moment divided by 0 0.87 fykz eh? and remember that this z eh, cannot more cannot be more okay sekejap eh, saya kena ambil pen eh? Okay, dz cannot be more, tak boleh lebih. 0 0.95d cannot be more. If let's say you calculate z is greater than 0 0.95, meaning that that z here is only 0 0.95. But if let's say that z value is less than 0 0.95d, then you have to take that less value and put inside this formula to calculate your as. So this formula also you don't need to memorize because in Euro code 2, the formula for AS is given already here. Eh? You can see that it is given. So no need to memorize, just understand how to use it. Okay. So this uh, formula is only applicable for single reinforce. Now, if we are uh, if you are talking about doubly reinforce, okay, doubly reinforce again is defined by having a cross section of concrete where you put tensile reinforcement in the tension region, and also you put your compression reinforcement in the compression area. Okay, so that's why the free body that the free body diagram, the stress block diagram will be something like this. Okay. And remember that it is almost similar like the single reinforce. Cuma ada sedikit penambahan saja kat sini. Apa penambahan yang berlaku kat sini? Okay, saya akan gunakan highlighter which is much more better. If you still remember, this is similar like single reinforce. Okay, is similar. Tak ada beza. This is also similar like your single reinforce. Because you need to have this uh, equation for your tensile reinforcement. But the different is will be something like this. Next, we just have another pen marker, warna, katla warna, merah. Okay. The only different is this. Okay. What is that? That is FSC. Okay. FSC meaning that force in a steel in compression. Remember that. Doubly reinforced section, you need to put compression reinforcement at the top. So that's why the force here will be the force inside the steel in compression using the similar formula, the Tadabiza pun formula there, which is equal to FYK over 1.15, which is you punya gamma S. And then multiplied by E S prime. Remember, untuk compression, the area is E S prime, but for your tension reinforcement, the area is E S. Eh, ada beza, eh? So if you uh, simplify that, you get 0.87 F Y K E S prime. Eh, seperti yang you nampak di sini lah. Yang lain semua sama. Tak ada beza pun. You nampak sini. This is the maximum compression force in concrete. Sama. Tak ada beza. Okay. And there is also another extra dimension which is D prime. Okay. Yang single reinforce you nampak D kan. Di sini you ada D prime and also D. Okay. So what is D prime? D prime is the distance from the top of the concrete from top of concrete surface
which is from here lah, from here to the center line of compression reinforcement to the center of compression reinforcement eh so nampak ni d prime eh Okay, so I, I have to erase this eh, because nanti kan diganggu saya punya ni. So I have to erase this one. So nanti you tengok video, you you catat lah dekat nota eh. Dekat nota you lah. Ini saya tak pasal padang dulu. Okay, so by uh, labeling all of that. Okay, by labeling all of that. And putting uh, the the correct dimension and also forces. Then again, we have to use similar concept as before by considering equilibrium of forces. Okay, equilibrium of forces stating that any forces in compression must be always equal to the force in tension. Remember that the force that is only in compression for our reinforced concrete is only concrete. So force in concrete in compression, and the uh, and also jangan lupa kita jangan lupa satu perkara lagi yang disebabkan oleh steel ke atas tu, eh, which is FSC. Jangan lupa ni yang ni eh, yang ni FCC eh, FCC compression force in concrete plus compression force in steel, and that is equal to FST. The force in steel in tension, yang ni. Okay, so by doing so, saya padam ni. So saya nak menulis terus uh, eraser. So kita consider the the force equilibrium between the compression and tension. So by doing so, I will get something like this. Uh, which is uh, which is our tensile force is equal to our compression force so by substitute your FST, FCC, FSC to this equation at the end of the day you get the uh, neutral axis formula okay? and by taking the moment about steel in tension meaning that I will get the very moment from here ok So okay, maybe yang ni saya kena tunjuk sikit Kalau ni nampak eh, apa yang saya masukkan So saya kena copy gambar-gambar ni semua Saya buang semua ni Saya kena buang juga yang ini Okay, power copy this So now I want to find the moment. Eh? So I will use highlighter. So I will take the moment at the center of this steel. Okay. Remember the definition of moment. Moment adalah force time distance. Eh? Moment is equal to force time distance. Start to ini pen. Eh? Okay. The force that you have here is the force due to steel in compression and then you have to multiply the distance from here until here. Katalah saya namakan distance itu sebagai Z1. Okay, so meaning that which is FSC times Z1 plus there is another also forces here which is called FCC Multiplied from that force to this distance Katalah saya namakan ni sebagai Z2 Ok, so now we get the expression for Z1 and Z2 What is Z1? Z1 ni, if you see carefully Carefully, sorry That will be the D Minus D prime See carefully. That will be D minus D prime, and your Z2 will be 
uh, your d minus 0.4x so kalau saya letak benda ini dalam full form eh, kalau saya letak benda dalam full form what you get so saya akan gunakan the next slide eh. uh, ok my pen where is it so you punya moment is equal to tadi fs fsc times z1 plus fst times z2 oh sorry uh, kenapa jadi gitu eh jangan saya kena buat eraser eh ok so this is your z2 and remember that your fsc tadi uh, setiap apa kita buat ni dulu this one is d minus d prime plus fst times with this d minus 0.4x dan kita gantikan FSU which is 0.87 FYK AS prime times D minus D prime plus 0.87 FYK AS uh, sorry I think there is a wrong here uh, ada benda yang salah saya silap eh? saya kena bentukkan balik ni di sini silap Eh, because that is not FSC FSC adalah uh, still in compression cuba tengok balik oh FCC ok saya pun silap sini sepatutnya FCC eh. ini FCC saya pun jadi pening this is FCC so yang ni betul lah 0.87 FYK AS prime betul cuma yang silap ni dekat sini Okay. So yang ni adalah 0.45 FCK DX D minus 0.4X So this is the moment Resistance For doubly reinforced eh, For doubly reinforced Amat berbeza dengan expression for single reinforced Kali tengok tadi eh mana tadi yang single reinforce uh, mana tadi sekejap ah ni eh? for single reinforce you ada dua formula lah sebenarnya untuk double reinforce ada dua formula tapi tak apa untuk single reinforce kita ada dua formula either to use this one or to use this one but for double reinforce the ultimate moment resistance is much more longer Okay, much more longer and much more complicated uh, where it is to be something like this okay right, will be something like this okay, so saya tak suka nak memorize benda ni, cuma saya suka uh, add, apa, develop, saya develop equation tu, okay. so in our notes, eh, you can use the same thing and you get almost similar expression, cuma yang ini ini apa dia? Ini adalah tadi 0.45 FCKBX multiplied by Z2 tadi. Eh, Z2 tadi lah ditolak 0.4X kan? Eh, yang ini dinamakan sebagai MU, Ultimate of Resistance. Okay, never mind. Okay, so after you play around with the formula, then you can get the area of compression reinforcement, AS prime. Inilah formula dia. And area intention AS will be this one. So, sebenarnya tak perlu nak ingat sangat lah. Because dalam euro code ada. Eh? So, I will show it to you. Uh, this part. Eh? So, this is the AS part. As I said, no need to un, uh, memorize. And also, you can have AS area also. Eh? Uh, dia punya bentuk macam tak sama. Tapi sebenarnya bila you ganti, you akan dapat sama uh, value dengan yang ni. Sama saja nak guna yang ini pun boleh you nak guna ini pun boleh the answer will be the same eh? cuma kalau buat yang ni you are working from basic principle lah eh? ok so now saya dah bincang how to find the moment of resistance for single reinforce and for double reinforce dan jangan lupa ada satu perkara yang saya dah cakap tadi for safe design ensure that your design must be not Uh, exceeding this value where you punya neutral axis depth 
x cannot be more than 0.45 for singly reinforced tetapi untuk doubly reinforced ah dia lain sikit eh untuk doubly reinforced you have to ensure that your d prime over d cannot be more atau equal uh, 0.171 okey ah yang ni you kena pastikan dan juga you punya x cannot be more than 0.45 kalau untuk doubly dia ada dua untuk singly cuma ada satu saja tujuannya apa tujuan supaya memastikan you ada safe design meaning that you are still only yielding first sebelum concrete damage in compression sebab kita nak ada gradual failure bukannya sudden failure eh so again saya beritahu untuk singly reinforced neutral as a step cannot be more than 0.45d for doubly reinforced Uh, neutral as step also tak boleh lebih daripada 0.45 D campur D prime over D must be less or equal to 0.171 ok baru uh, design tu dikatakan selamat which is under reinforce ok so nanti you kena tengok video ni sekali lagi eh, baru you faham ok now uh, we want to use our euro code 2 macam mana kita nak design Okay, apa yang saya beritahu tadi adalah uh, You want to know the maximum moment The maximum moment before the concrete fail under under reinforce Yang kita buat formula tadi, eh, untuk singly dengan W tadi You nak kena cari nilai M tu kan But now, you are given the bending moment, dia terbalik eh You are required to find the area of the reinforcement So, maksudnya ada dua senario eh, Ada dua senario yang you kena faham saya tambah sikit satu slide sini. We have two scenarios in design. Uh, pointer, pointer, pen. Okay, I divide it. We have scenario one. We have scenario two. So what is the meaning of scenario one? Scenario one meaning that you are given the FCK. FCK adalah concrete grit you are given the yield strength of steel you are given what is the width of the cross section you are given what is the effective depth okay you are given what is your area of reinforcement then we want to find what is the maximum moment eh? where the moment here we call it as a moment of resistance moment of resistance ada setengah buku bagi nama juga yang lain iaitu ultimate moment pun boleh juga nak bagi nama ini ultimate moment so apa dia ultimate moment ni ultimate moment meaning that the maximum moment that you can apply to section tak kisahlah dia singly ke doubly ke sebelum dia pecah rosak damage ok that is scenario 1 scenario 2 dia terbalik The moment is given Senario satu tadi Moment tak diberi Tapi you kena cari Senario kedua pula Moment siap-siap dibagi Moment yang dibagi dan Moment yang maksimum Dan biasanya moment, moment diberi ni Daripada mana? From bending moment diagram That's why you kena tahu Lukis bending moment diagram So apa you nak You dikendaki mencari Area of reinforcement and also area of compression enforcement kalau dia doubly ha, nampak eh? terbalik eh so ini maybe ada AS prime eh ok so scenario 1 AS dibagi AS prime dibagi tapi kena cari moment scenario kedua pula moment diberi diberi daripada mana daripada bending moment diagram you kena cari pula area of enforcement ataupun AS prime kalau perlu so we have two scenario So, apa yang kita bincang sebelum ini adalah Senario 1 Sekarang ni saya nak masuk kepada Senario itu, Where you have to find the area of steel Jika diberi bending moment ah, Inilah dia punya slide eh? You are required to design Based on the given bending moment Okay So, uh, as I said before, you have to determine the design moments Meaning that the design moment will be given or you have to find it 
and based of that you have to find the value of your k based on this formula and make sure that you understand that k balance is equal to 0.167 jika jika you punya k ini less or equal to 0.167 then your design is considered to be singly reinforced and in order to un ensure that your under uh, the section is under reinforced you can pastikan you punya x cannot be more at or equal to 0.45d 0.45d tetapi if let's say your k sini is greater than 0.167 then your section is a doubly reinforced maksudnya you kena akan ada uh, tension reinforcement you akan ada compression reinforcement eh? and you must ensure that saya tak berapa setuju ayat over reinforce ni eh? tak betul eh? sepatutnya you kena juga under reinforce so ini ada kesilapan eh? by making that your x cannot be more or equal to 0.45d tambah satu lagi d prime over d cannot be more atau equal to 0.171 ah macam tu Eh, ah ini dia punya prosedur sedikit begini berbeza sikit ini eh. Ah, so kalau yang tadi awal tadi momen kita kena cari besi kita diberi berapa luas. Tapi yang ini bending momen diberi you are required to find area of reinforcement. And that area of reinforcement is greatly depending on your key. If your key is less atau equal to 0.167 it is a single reinforce. Otherwise, otherwise maksudnya more than 0.167 lah. Then the section is considered to be doubly reinforced where you have to calculate ES and ES prime. Okay. Okay. Ni yang saya kata tadi, you have to find your bending moment diagram lah. Okey. Katakan kes ini, kes ini apa dia? Your key is less or equal to 0.167. Okey, maksud kes inilah, kes ini. So saya sekarang fokus kat situ. So how to calculate you punya ES? First of all, you have to calculate the lever arm. Based on that formula, and ensure that your lever arm Z here cannot be more than 0.95D. If let's say your Z is more than 0.95D, your Z will be 0.95D. If let's say you punya Z katalah dapat 0.90D contohnya, which is less than 0.95D, Therefore, your Z will be 0.90D okay? Sebab you nak ganti dekat sini nanti After that, barulah you boleh kira untuk ES eh? The reinforcement areas for singly okay? By dividing you punya moment With 0.87 FYKZ And after you calculate that area You kena ingat ya You kena semak sama ada area yang you provide ES ni Memenuhi keperluan minimum areas Dan keperluan maximum areas eh? So that's why you have to calculate ES minimum ES minimum Must be more Or equal to This value And this value must be more than this The maximum value Must be Cannot be more than 0 0.00 AC Apa itu AC? AC adalah area of concrete Which is you punya lebar konkret kali ke dalaman konkret lah sebab kalau you punya section tu rectangular ok so ini you punya lebar beam ini you punya dalam beam lah you punya H eh? so that's why you get AC to be B times H and also you must to check the spacing between reinforcement sebab reinforcement you boleh letak dia begini ok So, uh, the distance from your reinforcement to the net reinforcement, distance ini, eh, ini distance, eh, the spacing must be checked 
Sebab apa kena check? Sebab kita tak nak ruang itu terlalu sempit Until you punya cost aggregate yang biasanya 20mm Tak boleh masuk dalam ruang itu Nanti kalau tak boleh masuk Dia akan menghalang pergerakan simen untuk masuk ke bawah Dan menyebabkan konkrit itu tak padat Sebab itu kena check spacing ni okay? So macam mana nak check? We have a formula for it We will talk this one later on eh? And also we must to check also the maximum spacing So maksudnya spacing ni Dia ada minimum dia dan dia ada maksimum dia yeah? ha, Kenapa nak ada maksimum? Nanti saya akan cakap terangkan sebentar lagi lah Nanti dalam lecture minggu hadapan And this is procedure for single reinforce eh? Single reinforce where you okay less than 0.167 Nah, Arab ni faham eh So lepas ni saya nak cerita tentang doubly Doubly masuk case ini eh? Case when your K is more than 0.167 So now I want to focus on that part Where for doubly Where your K is more than 0.167 eh? K balance is equal to 0.167 Again You have to calculate your Z Tetapi Z sini dipanggil sebagai Z balance Will be always 0.82D Memang akan dapat 0.82D And to check for safe design Seperti yang saya cakap tadi D prime over D Must be less than Atau equal to 0.17 Sebab you nak pastikan Design you selamat Besi yang akan yielded dulu Bukannya concrete Nampak ni You punya compression steel akan yielded Kita nak itu dulu Okay uh, And then you can calculate your AS prime Which is your compression area Based on this formula Sebenarnya formula-formula ni tak perlu hafal eh? Ada yang euro code eh And you have also to calculate your tension area reinforcement based on this formula. Again, you can sum up minimum and maximum reinforcement requirement. Seperti yang kita buat dalam single reinforce, the minimum and maximum spacing of your reinforcement. Again, the same as in the uh, single reinforce. Okay, tapi kadang-kadang ada juga berlaku design yang tak boleh nak elak. Di mana kita terpaksa membenarkan besi kita tak gagal dahulu Konkret yang gagal And in that case kita benarkan Tapi jarang lah orang buat eh, Tapi nak buat boleh tapi jarang If your D prime is uh, divided by D is greater than 0.167 Maksud you benarkan You punya uh, compression konkret tu gagal Tapi still in konkret tu tak gagal lagi Then you can calculate your ES by this formula lah. Tapi jarang lah berlaku Cara. Biasanya yang yang inilah eh, Yang inilah yang digunakan Biasanya okay. So hopefully you can understand lah, eh. And Again uh, Jangan risau semua ni Because all of this in here you rupert to So jangan risau Semua ada Semua dalam page 8 Until page uh, Page only eh. Page 8 is for rectangular So minggu ni kita belajar about rectangular Minggu depan kita akan learn about flange Ok ha, Minggu ni kita lihat muka surat 8 saja. Semua ada kat sini eh. Nampak ni kalau D prime over D Meaning that your compression steel will be yielded Ini formula dia Kalau kata you benarkan you punya compression steel is not yielded ha, Ini formula dia So don't need to worry about the formula lah Cuma kena faham macam mana guna Uh, this is the page yang saya kata tadi About the minimum and maximum reinforcement areas It is under clause 9.2 So this is under euro code eh. Sekejap saya nak cari saya punya pen eh. uh, 9.2 So if I referring to this code The minimum and maximum reinforcement areas Where the minimum formula for that is given by this So sebab itu saya kata you tak perlu hafal eh? Memang ada dalam euro code But not less than this eh? So kalau tengok nota balik tadi Nampak ni Ada kat sini eh? So for maximum Areas of reinforcement is given by this eh? So maybe nak kena tengok dekat dalam euro code lah Baru nampak Saya buka euro code eh 9.2 So kena carilah 9.2 Kat mana 9.2 This is 6.0 7, 8, 9 Okay 9.2 atas aku eh Dekat mana eh Sekejap Sepatutnya ada je D 
dimanyakah dia ah, ni. ini untuk kolam ni ok sepatutnya dia ada ke atas eh. saya tak tahu kenapa dia tak ada sepatutnya ada eh. subi ada diletak dalam 4.0 pula eh. ok never mind so 9.2.1.1 the minimum so the minimum will be given by this cannot be less than this and then the maximum reinforcement is 0.04 AC okay. and then we have also the minimum spacing of bars which is given by clause 2 see. Eh. so in your notes you boleh nampak dekat sini so ini semua saya nak padam sebab tak nampak lah kan ok So you may see that the minimum spacing or reinforcement will be given by this lah, eh, by this, by this. Eh. And in your euro code two, you boleh nampak di beri kat sini lah, dekat dalam euro code two. Ah, ini, ah, yang ni nampak ni ada ni. Eh. Uh, the value of K1 and K2 in the country can be found in the national index. The recommended value are one and five is given by the maximum of K1 K1 tadi satu eh, times bar diameter comma DG DG is the maximum aggregate size which is uh, 20 lah plus K2 K2 berapa nilai dia? 5 or 20 which one is the bigger lah eh, so that's why dalam bentuk uh, nota ni dia bagi begini lah mana tadi ha, ni. Eh, K1 times bar diameter 20mm ataupun DG plus K2 eh Okay. Uh, for uh, di sini eh, under under minimum uh, reinforcement area you ada satu expression ni namakan sebagai FCTM eh. FCTM is the uh, tensile strength of concrete according to concrete class given by table 3.1 so table 3.1 yang ni lah ok so FCTM here will be given based on the concrete class FCK Eh, so you have to find that in the euro code lah ada kat euro code ni ha ni eh, dia terbalik sikit lah eh, dia kena tengok lah kat sini FCTM eh ok ok and the spacing of bar saya dah tunjuk tadi kan spacing of bars in the euro code uh, page 131 page 131 ni sebenarnya euro code yang asal eh uh, di dalam you punya euro code yang you dapat dalam appendix ni dia tak lah page 131 eh. dia page 10 eh, sebab yang ni kita ambil dan kita bukukan uh, jadi buku baru buku yang asal memang tebal eh. so kalau yang asal memang page 132 131 eh. so you jangan pening eh. kenapa yang ni 131 yang tu page 10 ok ok uh, I think we do one examples which is uh, focusing on this diagram ok design the main reinforcement ok This word meaning that you are required to find the reinforcement. If you refer back to our discussion before, saya ada tunjuk satu discussion. Di sini tadi, scenario 1 and scenario 2. Scenario 1 is giving you the reinforcement, you are required to find moment of resistance. Scenario 2, you are given bending moment but you are to required to find area of steel so sekarang ni soalan ni scenario mana sebenarnya scenario 1 ke scenario 2 sekejap saya akan tunjukkan balik sekarang ni soalan ni to find the main reinforcement maksudnya to find the area of the reinforcement and you are given also here ada satu information about the bending moment is given the bending moment is given so meaning that this is scenario 2 Scenario number two because you are required to find the area of reinforcement and the moment is given. Okay, itu soalan pertamanya to design the main reinforcement dan juga kena sketch the arrangement of the reinforcement. Yeah. So dia bagi tahu kat sini lebar beam ni 200 eh. So the width of this beam is 200 mm. Uh, effective depth 
is given to be 450 dah siap-siap bagi kat you overall height kat sini 500 ok tak apa kita labelkan saja concrete class remember saya dah bagi dulu nota ni pada minggu lepas when you uh, uh, mention about concrete class remember the first number here is your FCK and the second number here is your FCU for design purpose in Euro code 2 you must use this number as your FCK so masuk kat sini FCK you adalah 25 megapascal jangan gunakan nombor belakang ni eh? FCU is when you design the concrete using British standard zaman saya dulu zaman anda zaman Euro code 2 jadi gunakan yang nombor depan jangan salah eh? And it is given here an end information. The steel grade that you want to use is a high yield steel. Uh, steel grade ni ada tiga jenis eh sebenarnya. Saya nak tunjuk kat you lah eh. Sebelum kita teruskan discussion. Steel grade ni kita ada beberapa jenis. Dekat dalam industri ni kita ada beberapa jenis eh. Steel grade. We have Uh, mild steel grid where the strength is 250 megapascal low lah eh? and then we have uh, I do not know what is the name so I put here high yield steel where the value is 500 besar dua kali ganda kuat daripada yang mild steel tu eh And saya tak tahu nak namakan apa yang di tengah ni Sebab kita ada dua grade lagi kat sini Which is 410 megapascal And 460 megapascal okay, Zaman saya dulu Kita biasa gunakan besi ni Tapi zaman sekarang Zaman Euro code 2 Dia nak you gunakan besi ini saja High yield steel Eh, so bila dia kata kat sini high yield steel meaning that you punya FYK is always 500 500 megapascal automatic so lupakan tentang yang 250 dengan 410 dengan 460 tapi cumanya industri di Malaysia ni tak ramai lagi syarikat-syarikat supplier yang dapat supply 500 ni sebab bila nak bergerak pada 500 ni maksudnya you kena ubah teknologi kilang So, bila nak ubat tak hilang, kena beli mesin, cost lah. Ambil masa lah. Tapi, ada juga company-company yang sudah berubah kepada 500. Eh? So, what, maybe dia ada duit lah. Eh? Dia boleh tukar sistem mesin. Eh? And, dia boleh produce 500 megapascal. Eh? So, untuk you punya syllabus wise, jangan hirau pasal industri sebenar di Malaysia. Just only take the steel grade is only FYK ni. Is only 500. Tetapi, concrete grade kena tengok soalan lah. Kalau dia kata 25-30 Meaning that you punya FCK is 25 Okay So sekarang ni baru kita nak jawab soalan okay? Design the main reinforcement This is our first question Second question is to sketch the arrangement of the reinforcement Second question So ada dua soalan dalam satu soalan So sekarang sudah dekat 50 minit saya cakap So I have another 10 minutes more Okay Okay this table Okay, sebelum kita nak buat, kita kena tengoklah beberapa table about the reinforcement eh. So this table when you where you can get it if you have textbooks buku teks yang saya saran tu. Table ni ada dekat page belakang. Tapi jangan risau if you don't have that table uh, of you don't have any uh, textbook in your euro code yang saya bagi tu dalam new future di belakang sekali di page akhir ada satu table yang memang sama macam tadi lah Cuma table ni alamak kecil sangat eh. Kena besarkan Mana pula begini lah Ha ni Page yang akhir sini Dia ada tiga table okay. Untuk anda beam Fokus pada table pertama ni eh, Sebab table pertama ni sama macam table ini. Eh, cuma gambar ni dia ada warna-warni lah Yang ni tak ada warna-warni lah Sama je Ok So if I look at on this table So better I using this table lah Yang dah you put eh Senang Macam mana besar ni Okay So this table listing The number uh, The bar size Diameter of the bar Kita ada 8, 10, 12 sampai 40 
Tapi jarang kalau orang guna 40 ni Biasanya daripada 8 sampai 32 ni biasa eh? And then uh, on the horizontal part is the number of bar Berapa bilangan bar yang nak pakai Contohnya Kalau saya pakai sebatang besi Dengan diameter 8 Area of steel adalah 50.3 mm squared Ha, macam tu cara nak baca dia eh? Kalau katalah saya letak besi 4 batang uh, And then the diameter of the bar is let's say 20 So I will refer to 4 numbers of bar And 20M diameter So the area is 1260mm squared Dan seterusnya Lagi banyak bar Lagi besar diameter Lagi besar lagi punya area eh? The smaller is your bar diameter The smaller is the number of the bar The lower will be the area of the steel Eh, hopefully you understand this part eh? So table kedua ni bukan table sekali nak pakai When you design slab element Barulah you nak pakai Table kedua ni eh? So buat masa ni you faham yang table pertama eh? Dalam euro code Okay that is the table talking about eh? So sini masa dia bulat ke apa Maksudnya dia nak pakai 4 batang besi Dengan diameter 20 So luas dia 1257 eh? Sebab soalan ni dia tanya apa Sebab dia bagi tahu kat sini Uh, dia ada beritahu ke So maybe dia beritahu kat sini uh, ah, Dia tak beritahu apa Sebab so, nak cari luas kan So ini contohlah Kalau nak pakai 4 batang besi 20 mm eh, Okay So macam ni kita nak selesai ni Okay Kita kena selesaikan So saya padam semua ni Okay saya kena pinjam gambar ni Ataupun tak boleh pinjam lah So because uh, So we have to check first eh? First of all apa yang you kena buat Sebab ini sinar itu eh? So bila sinar itu Cuba tengok apa kita kena buat Kalau sinar itu You kena start dengan ini dulu eh? So saya padam ni semua Bukan sinar itu eh? Sebab you nak dapatkan area eh? So sinar itu akan buat gini So first of all you have to find the design moment So from the questions The design moment Mana tadi Saya rasa saya kena tarik ni lah Saya kena tarik ni lah Kacau lah Okay Saya kena letak dekat sini ah, Okay Okay So you have to find the design moment The design moment given here is 150 So My moment here Saya letak siap-siap 150 Kilonewton meter eh? The unit of bending moment Is kilonewton meter And after that The step Yang saya kena buat adalah To determine the K value Based on this formula Moment divided by B D squared F C K And you know that Your B is given already D pun dah bagi F C K pun dah ada So For sure You boleh calculate K Kan is equal to your bending moment so you punya bending moment ni kena tukar unit eh kepada newton millimeter sebab sekarang ni kilonewton meter so kilonewton meter to newton millimeter you have to multiply by 10 to the power of 6 10 kuasa 6 newton millimeter eh divided by fck uh, bd tadi b tadi 200 kalau tak silap saya lah DU tadi berapa? DU 4.5 450 kuasa 2 Kalikan dengan FCKU Which is 25 okay. So if you do that Saya akan kira bersama-sama you So saya pun tak ada jawapan ni Saya pun baru nak kira ni Sekejap eh So maybe kalau you dah kira You boleh kira lah Saya pun baru nak kira ni Take time a bit So 150 Uh, exponent 6 Sorry 150 Exponent 6 Divided by 1200 Multiplied by 450 squared Kalikan dengan Apa ni? 25 Then you get 0.148 Which is Less than 0.167 Nampak ni kita kena compare dengan ini 
So kalau itulah kes dia Maksudnya dia kes Single reinforce eh? Single reinforce So bila single reinforce Apa yang kita kena buat eh? So saya kena buat conclusion ya eh? So mini dad oh, Allah mak Kenapa ni Dia tak ada ni Eh mana pergi uh, Saya kena letak pen eh Saya lupa Saya guna kartan orang So saya kena buat conclusion This is a single reinforce So you dengan membuat conclusion ni Ada markah eh Jangan tak tulis Kena tulis ni eh? Conclusion eh It's a single reinforced design You tulis saja perkataan single reinforced design ni You akan dapat markah Ok apa yang nak kena buat lepas ni Kita kena rujuk kita punya table Mana tadi Untuk single ha, Yang ni So saya akan copy yang ni okay. Saya akan copy ni uh, Yang ni saya buang Saya copy ni Ok saya akan paste di sini Sebab kita dah tahu dia single reinforced Jadi kita kena gunakan uh, Procedure on single reinforced So what you should do In the beginning You have to cut it your Z So kira Z eh So saya tulis kat sini Z is equal to D Multiplied by 0.5 Plus square root of 0.25 Minus K K tadi berapa? Okay, tadi 0.148 Bahagikan dengan 1.134 So kita tengok apa jawapannya ni so, Kalau saya kira eh Saya pun tak tahu jawapannya Jadi kita pun kira lah bersama-sama So the square root of 0.25 Minus 0.148 Bahagikan dengan 1.134 Then plus 0.5 You'll get 0.84 Okay 0.85 lah nah. D Which is less than 0.95 So bila ini berlaku Therefore You punya Z Must be taken as 0.85 D Tapi kalau katalah Z tu Lebih daripada 0.9 D Contohlah dapat 0.96 Z kat situ adalah 0.95D Maksudnya you kena ambil nilai yang terkecil Antara nilai Z yang you dapat tadi Dengan 0.95 Yang terkecil eh, Contohnya macam 0.85D Dengan 0.95D Dah tentu yang kecil 0.85D So that's why saya boleh dapat Z ni macam ni Tapi kalau Z yang you dapat tu 0.96D So the smaller between 0.96D And 0.95D adalah 0.95D So di masa itu Z you akan dapat 0.95D Faham eh? Okay After you get your Z Then barulah you boleh kira ES Based on this formula eh? So saya tulis kat tepi ni eh Sebab tempat dah tak muat eh Moment tadi berapa? Saya pun tak ingat 150 Ingat moment ni unit mesti tukar eh Kali 10 kuasa 6 eh Jangan tak tukar Kalau tak tukar memang masalah Because we want to convert from kilonewton meter to newton millimeter. Eh? The unit here is newton millimeter. Eh? Sorry, eh? saya terpaksa buat macam ni. Menyengit sikit. Eh? 0.87 times. Remember FYK tadi apa? FYK is your steel grid. It's a high yield steel. Therefore, your FYK memang sentiasa 500. Mega Pascal ni maksudnya apa? Mega Pascal ni unit dia adalah... 500 Newton per millimeter square Ok So mana tadi Terus saya ganti sini 500 Kalikan dengan Z Z U tadi lah 0.85 D D U tadi berapa D U tadi Kalau ikut soalan 4.5 Saya ganti terus 4.5 di situ Sorry lah ya eh. Kalau teruk sangat ni eh. Saya rasa saya baik Tulis pada tempat yang better eh. Sebab nampak macam Berkecamuk sangat Dia punya ni eh. So saya tulis kat sini lah Nanti kan ada yang tak faham Z Tadi D 0.5 Plus 0.25 Minus 0.14 It code eh. Kalau tak silap saya lah So ini you dapat tadi 0.8 5D which is less than 0.95D 
so therefore if we z will be 0 0.85 b eh betul kan saya pun tak ingat ok betul kan ok and after that you calculate area of reinforcement which is the moment divided by 0.87 fyp z eh the moment is 150 exponent 6 newton per uh, newton millimeter divided by 0.87 kalikan dengan 500 tadi kalikan dengan z itu which is 0.85 saya sambung ke bawah eh darab b tak silap saya sebab setengah kot sebab setengah eh ha, sekarang kita kira berapa area dia ok saya guna kata kereta eh 150 eksponen 6 bagikan dengan 0.87 kali 500 kali 0.85 kali 4.5 area dia adalah 901.5 so you kena letak besi sebanyak ini cumanya you have to decide what is the bar diameter and the number of bar for beam, remember perkara ini in any beams, the minimum number of bars must be 2 tak boleh 1 eh maksudnya besi letak ke bawah tu mesti 2 biji, tak boleh sebiji seketul tak boleh, mesti 2, paling minimum ok and then uh, dalam bar ni, diameter ni bergantung kepada pengalaman sebenarnya. and also berapa luas ni lah so kita tengok kita punya table tadi table in eh table mana mana pergi table ah ni table ni tadi kita punya area tadi 901 eh ES adalah 901 eh 0.5 tak salah saya lah millimeter square minimum bar must be 2 ok minimum bar must be 2 so saya nak menggunakan 2 batang bar saja. Kalau saya nak gunakan tiga pun boleh, tak ada masalah. Boleh. Tapi saya nak gunakan dua batang. Eh? And then I have to find the area along this yang sekurang-kurangnya lebih besar sedikit daripada 901. Maksudnya inilah. 982. So, I have to use rebar diameter 25. So, meaning that I have to use 9 number of bars uh, 9 numbers uh, with the diameter of sorry 2 number of bar 2 number of bar high yield sorry saya tersilap ni saya kena iris dulu ada tersilap eh kenapa ni sekejap eh ada kesilapan sedikit saya kena padam yang ini saya kena buat balik Tadi kita nak area dia 901 paling minimum. So, saya nak kena gunakan dua batang. Ini nak guna tiga batang, empat batang boleh. Tapi sekarang saya nak fokus pada dua batang. Area kita sepatutnya 901 tadi. So, the area that is a bit bigger is 92. So, the diameter will be 25. So, I will use two number of bars with high yield grip and diameter of 25 ini, ini cara dia eh? use 2 number of bar dengan steel grid high high itu maksudnya 500 megapascal lah. e, uh, 25 diameter so the area yang provided ES provided adalah sebenarnya 982 mm square yang you provide 982 yang required sebenarnya 901 faham eh? so sekarang ni kita boleh sketch lah kita boleh sketch macam mana rupa dia mantap ni baik saya kena sambung kat sini eh? so now I can sketch so your section will be something like this and then I have to Oh, wow. So, it's a lot of energy. Okay. And then, I have to... Maybe, I use the highlighter. Lah. So, katakan yang ni warna hitam. So, kita letak dua batang. 
you will turn. Okay, so we put all of the dimension. This one, Sarah, pun tak ingat berapa. 200. Okay, and the height of the beam. Berapa? 500 pasti 400 setengah okay. 500 Okay And your effective depth Until to center line This is 450 And this is your 2H25 And this is You punya FCK tadi 30, eh, 25 sorry And this is the arrangement so inilah menjawab soalan You dah tentukan bilangan besi You dah propose the reinforcement You dapat markah kat sini And then you propose the arrangement This is the punya sketch of Riva arrangement So you dapat markah Habis Selesai Okay untuk soalan single reinforce Okay so next kita tengok soalan yang ni pula Design the main reinforcement Again Dia nak you dapatkan main reinforcement And then the bending moment is given So ini dah tentu scenario number 2 Bukan scenario number 1 Scenario 2 Soalan dia So design the main reinforcement And sketch the arrangement Sama lah macam tadi juga And then dia bagilah data-data lah Maksudnya macam lebar beam ni dia dah bagi Which is 250 Okay 250 Effective depth pun dah bagi 700 And then deep prime dia pun bagi 60 Okay uh, Overall depth 700 setengah Bending moment 800 FCK pun dia dah bagi terus And then steel grade pun adalah high yield eh? Okay So kita kena tengok dulu kita punya uh, apa Flowchart ni So saya akan pergi kepada flowchart Eh mana tadi Yang ni eh? So saya akan copy ni Ok So uh, Bending moment Dia dah bagi 880 eh? Ok Saya akan tulis kat sini Our bending moment is 880 Ayo oh, Ok So the bending moment here Is it it o kilometer meter next step is to cut it your k value which is a uh, moment divided by b square fck eh? so saya kira kat sini lah eh? uh, a o remember you must convert this to newton millimeter so time 10 to power 6 over b b dia berapa 200 setengah and then d d dia d d d 700 Square Kuasa 2 eh Kali dengan FCK FCK 30 So kira ni dapat berapa Eh kalau kita kira dapat berapa Kita akan dapat 880 Exponent 6 Dibagikan dengan 250 Times 700 Square Multiplied by 30 So you akan dapat 0.239 which is greater than 0.167 Ingat, bila keadaan itu Maksudnya dia sudah masuk kategori ini eh? Sebab ini kategori bila K Is greater than 0.167 Meaning that is a doubly reinforced So, ingat saya dah cakap tadi You kena tulis conclusion ya Is a doubly reinforced section You kena tulis ya eh? Jangan tak tulis Kalau tidak, tak ada markah Doubly reinforced section Okay, itu step pertama And after that, baru kita design eh, Macam nak design, saya kena tengok saya punya prosedur untuk doubly Doubly yang ini kot Ah, yang ni So, saya kena copy that ni Prosedur ni And I put into that section Kat sini New slide Paste Okay
Okay, so you have to cut it first your Z. So you tahu you punya K balance ni memang sentiasa 0.167 eh. So kalau you kira memang Z tu akan dapat 0.82. Ini memang automatic. And then check whether your D prime over D less than 0.171. So kita semak lah. D prime over D. D prime tadi berapa? Saya rasa 60 kot. D tadi 700. Cuba semak ni berapa? 60 bagi dengan 700 eh. 60 bagi 700 You akan dapat 0.086 Which is less than 0.1671 Okay Sebab Kenapa you kena check? Sebab you kena tengok dalam euro code eh Kalau you tengok dalam euro code Mana ni So nampak eh sekarang you punya Live sekarang dah govern dengan euro code punya dokumen eh You kena semak euro code ni Dekat mana tadi Ah dekat sini If let's say your D prime over D Less than 1671 Ini formula untuk ASU Dan AS prime macam ni formula Tapi kalau katakan form, You dapat more than 1671 You kena guna prosedur yang di bawah ni Tapi secara umum ni Jarang lah berlaku lebih besar Jarang Tapi kalau berlaku You have to use this formula To find AS AS prime formula dia sama Cuma nak cari AS saja yang berbeza okay. AS prime tak kisahlah Kecil ke besar ke daripada 171 It's still the same formula uh, the, the affected formula will be AS on eh? Okay So kalau nak Kita tengok balik prosedur ini Eh okay yang maksudnya uh, kita punya condition kita yang inilah inilah eh yang ni tak ada tak berkenaan lah eh tak berkenaan lah so we can calculate now AS prime and AS eh? so kita kira lah so saya akan copy form ni sebab form ni panjang saya kena copy eh Okay, saya letak kat situ Hmm, mana pen saya Okay, so saya lukis di bawah right? AS prime AS prime is a compression reinforcement iris eh? AS is a tensile reinforcement iris uh, K tadi Berapa tadi nilai K tadi? Berapa tadi nilai K? 0.239 eh? So, 0.2 39 Saya refer pada formula ni eh Minus K balance K balance always 167 FCK tak ingat berapa FCK 30 eh? FCK 30 So ganti je dalam formula B Saya pun tak ingat berapa 2.5 250 Times D D tadi rasa 700 eh? Yang ini saya ingat Kursi 2 Over 0.87 Uh, FYK sentas 500 tak susah hati Yang ni 700 minus 60 Yang 60 ni memang saya ingat dengan 700 ni So kita kira dapat berapa Meter squared eh So kita kira Kita kira 0.239 minus 0.167 Multiply by 30 Times 250 Times 700 squared All of that will be divided by 0.87 Times 500 Times another 700 minus 60 So the area will be 954 954.43 Okay So di sini nanti saya kena tentukan berapa bilangan bar Iaitu minimum 2 biji And then berapa diameter bar eh? So kita kena tengok table tadi Mana table kita tadi? Table yang inilah 950 eh. So maksudnya saya boleh gunakan 2 batang lah 25 sebab dia uh, 950 kan So saya boleh pakai 2 batang besi Untuk uh, diameter 25 Ok So I can provide Provide 2 ni wajib eh Paling minimum 2 2H20 ke 2H20 ke 25 Tak ingat lah 25 
specify di mana ES prime provided dia sebenarnya 982 bukannya 950 ok do the same thing so ini dah settle eh settle now kita kaki untuk tension area ES eh saya, saya buat kat atas eh saya malas nak buat slide lagi K balance is 0.167 darab dengan FCK tadi so sini 30 uh, B uh, 2.5 D uh, 700 kuasa 2 semuanya bahagian 0.87 uh, times 500 times 0.82D eh Z tadi ingat eh yang ni 0.82D kan eh? oops 82D kali D Allah susahnya kan ni 82D eh saya tulis kat sini eh D 700 kena campur dengan AS prime which is this one 950.43 so kita kena kira lah eh panjang sikit formula dia 0.167 times 3 30 times 250 sorry 250 bukan ni 150 times 700 square semuanya bahagikan dengan 0.87 darab 500 kali 0.82 kali D eh? kali D uh, 0.82 kali D DU 700 Okay, campurkan dengan 950 0.43 eh. luas agak besar eh. 3000 lebih eh. 3408 lebih kurang oh, ni masih besar ni eh. 3408 maksudnya saya kena check apa bilangan besi yang saya nak pakai 3408 eh. hmm So, kalau saya guna 2 batang, paling maksimum pun 2,513. So, tak boleh. Sebab besi yang paling besar pun 40. So, dia nak 3,408. Saya rasa saya nak gunakan bilangan besi yang banyak. Um, 3,408 eh. So, maybe I use 5. So, you kena provide besi yang besar sikit daripada 3,408 eh. So, 5 batang besi dengan diameter 32. So, for your tension reinforcement, yang ini eh, untuk ni, you use 5H32 dengan ES provided. Berapa tadi? 3,400 kot. Kalau tak saya. Oh, sorry. 4,021. Eh? 4,021. So, kita sekarang nak susun eh. Kita nak susun, kita nak buat arrangement. Oh, sorry. So, saya kena buat satu slide baru. So, uh, yang ini dari 200 tengah. Eh. So, atas adalah untuk compression, bawah adalah untuk tension. Eh. Untuk tension tadi, kita akan pakai 5 batang besi dengan diameter 32. So uh, saya pakai highlighter lain supaya warna hitam. Betul ke saya nak kena check? Betul. 5 batang 1 2 3 4 5 dan di atas tu 2H20. Okay. So this one is 2H20 ke? Saya tak ingat. Berapa tadi untuk yang compression? Ah, 2H25, sorry. 2H25. Yang bawah ni adalah 5H32. Betul. Okay. And then you tahu jarak dari sini ke sini lah. You punya D prime eh. Which is 60. Okay. Jarak sini ke bawah ke center line. You see D tadi 700. Uh, FCK tadi kalau tak salah saya adalah 30. Eh, 30. Tiga pasal. Eh, and then you punya height of the beam berapa saya pun tak ingat 700 setengah eh, 700 setengah so you look elok-elok eh, daripada saya lah so ini dia punya steel arrangement eh, so for that I think I will end my lecture and then please wait for my tutorial one hour lecture eh, one hour lecture one hour tutorial lah eh, 
So jangan lupa untuk tanda tangan attendance untuk lecture lah. Eh, so jam. Eh. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you again. <tune>